On to race number six, and the sixth on the program is a class four of the 1650. Again, on the all weather, headed by Deal Maker, who takes the uh, the class drop, the two time course and distance winner. United Spirit's been racing in form, including run up to double take last time out. Chunghua Spirit, a three time course and distance winner. And the blinkers go back on as he drops from 22 back to the extended mile. Lady first broke through for that uh, win last time out at start number 38. One well as well, at beating amongst others. Double take, so awesome. Also coming out of that race where he finished second, was beaten three lengths. Demon's Rock gets out from the 12 to the 1650 and down through uh, wealthy employee El Valente, the best hero, and Sun Sun Farfa, who was beaten a mile in that uh, lady first last time. Dealmaker Sky Supreme double take have all been up at uh, Chung Fa along with Demon's Rock and Tom, wealthy employee. Yeah, in this race uh, here, we've got speed from a dealmaker potentially. He's probably going to have to roll forward from gate number 12 for Chad Schofield. And uh, so awesome, we've got the inside draw this time around. Uh, Lady first there with the Sky Supreme, uh, Demon's Rock, Chunghua Spirit should get a nice enough run through. He's got the blinkers going back on, does uh, Chunghua Spirit. Looks tricky for Sun Sun Far Far. A double take likely to uh, settle back from his awkward stall of gate 14 for Karis Teton. A maiden no more. Was a lady first here in Hong Kong. Um, after winning at his last start, it was a nice win from him, and uh, he won up pretty impressively. Uh, it was only his uh, second start on the all weather. It's surprising they haven't put him on more, but he's going to race him on the surface here on Saturday. So awesome! He's been a very consistent horse as well. Uh, another one that goes nicely here in his track work. No pressure on him as he comes down, and he looks happy enough as well. Does uh, so awesome. And then the other one we're going to look at, a deal maker, another one who has been running well on the surface in the past, has drawn a little bit awkward in barrier number 12. That's him closest to us in the red saddlecloth, is deal maker. And wealthy employee going round in the race as well. So two for one there uh, with uh, the Jimmy Ting runners. We're going to start off with Dealmaker in actual fact, uh, Tom. This is him finishing second. So we're going back three starts because he's been well beaten on his last two. Yeah, but uh, look at his record to here in this grade. To two wins from his 13 starts, uh, a second and four third placing. So this is normally his go. It's just he's, he's drawn awkwardly this time round. He was nowhere going to catch uh, the winner at all on this occasion, but uh, he was quite anchored there over the final stages. But more of his go here, Paul, and they probably have to roll the dice and go forward with him. Yeah, that's the key. How, how much he's going to have to use him up earlier on, isn't he? So barrier 12 uh, is just going to make it a little bit awkward, I thought. OK. Chung Wah Spirit, we're going back in time with him as well, Paul, along with Sky Supreme double taking United Spirit. This is back to the start of October. Yeah, no, so he has won this season. Now, previous seasons, he's won off a lot higher rating than this. Uh, 69 was his uh, highest winning rating. He's now down to a rating of 55. So uh, a really well-rated horse, thought it was a nice win. The blinkers will go back on him, uh, comes back onto the surface as well. Uh, so a lot of positives about him. Yeah, I've got him in. He had excuses last time out, and I'm not sure 2,200 metres at Happy Valley is his go. He pulled up with a lame uh, left front on that occasion, beaten nearly 30 links. But he's trialled up uh, OK recently with the blinkers on, and Matthew Chadwick gets on well with the horse, so he's certainly in for mine. OK, what about Lady First then, Tom? Three lengths, he's absolutely bolting on the turn. Three lengths, though, was the margin, beating so awesome. Double take and El Valente. Can he repeat? Uh, I haven't got him in, but uh, not to say he can't repeat, but it's been a long time coming. That uh, first win, he got uh, right away from them over the final stages, too. It was a, a very easy win to break that maiden status, uh, Paul, but uh, not sure whether he can go on. I do like the, the horse on the inside there, uh, so awesome. I think he's drawn to get all favours this time round, too. Yeah, look, I've put him in. We, as we know, Laddie first hasn't been a consistent winner, having his uh, first win there, but... Uh, Look, he hasn't he had limited starts. It's one positive on the all weather. Absolutely, yeah. We'll double take a finish behind him um, on that day. We can have a look at him winning, Paul, with United Spirit, El Valente and Sun Sun Far Far. So all of these form lines um, cross over. Yeah, look, I, I put El Valente in as my long shot here. He, he sort of caught my eye a couple of times, uh, hit the line strongly. Uh, it wasn't another bad run from him, so he'll be a big prize. I, I just put him in on a very minor line. Just wanted to stay with him. But it was a nice win from double take, and he did back it up with that... Uh, placing last time. Yeah, and he beat Unite Spirit here, who'll certainly take money again this time round with Joe Maria riding for uh, David Ferraris, Joe's first ride on the horse. He hit the front 200 out, but he was just headed over the final stages again. Didn't quite get him, and I thought it was a race that had many chances in it. Mm. I thought it was quite open, but the market's um, singled out so awesome at this stage. Uh, Paul, what do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm with another one at double figures here, which is uh, Chunghua Spirit. I'd... Coming back to the surface with blinkers back on, I think it's positives with a well-rated horse. So he's on top. So awesome. He's consistent, though. He's one uh, you, you can't leave out. Unite Spirit, another one who's been very consistent this season. And I threw El Valiente at a big price as well, just for the wider exotics. 4-8-2-12. 
Yeah, I think probably 290, anything less, probably getting a little bit short to four or so awesome. But from gate number one, he looks to get plenty of uh, favours there. He's been honest. He pressed forward to the lead down the back straight after being a little wide into the first turn and thought he stayed on well enough there. Chung Wah Spirit City, you must include uh, double take. He's just drawn awkwardly his uh, double take, but he'll be back and uh, running on. And throw out the stumps here with O oh Bravo. Three wide, no cover last time out. He had trialled quite well coming into his first two assignments. Zach Purton had ridden him in three trials. Just put a watch next to his name, though. He's dropped 11 pounds on the your weather 16.50 first time. So 8, 4, 6 and 10. Yeah, I think it's an interesting one, O'Bravo, for sure. Ended up with um, So Awesome, though, off the inside gate. Thought it'd be hard to beat, but it is open. Does not at the end there by any stretch of the imagination. That's race number six, then. Leaves us one more to go on the all-weather. That's race number seven, a class three contest. That's next.